Hi, it's me again with Curl Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody saw this on Facebook and want to know how to design that. Uh, I picked a font that's probably not the best font for it, but we're going to use it because it's kind of cute. And I'm going to show you how to manipulate some of the letters and everything. <clears throat> so what we're going to do first, we're going to draw that crescent. And we're going to take an ellipse. And then I'm going to control D and make it a duplicate while holding down the control button. I get that shape. I'm going to take the Smart Fill tool and fill that in. So now we have that shape. We can delete all this. We're going to left click, no fill, right click, outline, make sure it's a hairline. Now we're going to draw in these stars. And, you know, there's nothing special about the order or, this, or anything. Uh, we're just going to draw a couple, whoop. Let's go with a five-sided. And we're gonna draw a couple of different shapes, sizes. And I'm not gonna to try to copy it perfectly to that, but we'll just bring, that's another six-sided, which wouldn't be a bad thing. And now we can take both those and hit the plus key on the keyboard and move them down here and hit the plus key and move them down here and you know even change them up a little bit. Now to make that shape, we're gonna take the Smart Fill tool and what it did, it made that shape. And I can left click, right click, and now we now we have that shape. So we're gonna take the, get rid of this one and see this is all one piece or we're gonna move it back. And now we need to work with the font. And with most fonts, you wouldn't have to do this. You know what? I'm gonna change the font um, to make it more even. Uh, I don't like block letters. Um, that's pretty cool. That way they're all, well, some of them are going to have to be to the bottom and some of them are going to have to be to the top. Um, but we can make it work. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and go to object and break the text apart. And then we have one line at a time. And so that's all in one line. This needs to be two lines. So we're going to go to object, break that apart. And now we have these two words separated. And then these are all one word, all one text. <clears throat> so let's uh, make this smaller and bring it over to our moon shape. And still smaller still. And we're going to draw two lines coming off there. So what I'm going to do is take my, I could take my rectangle, I'm going to use my rectangle tool and I'm going to go from about right there to about right there and and I can move them later and I'm going to make it like, well, you know what? We want them the same. So let's make a duplicate of that, control D or hit the plus key on your keyboard and we're just going to move it right there for right now. Now we need to take this font and go up to object and convert them to a curve because you can't weld a font. We're going to left click. I'm going to go ahead and use black so we can see the difference. <clears throat> and really, I should have made it a capital letter. Uh, let me back up here. Uh, that's probably why they did that. So that's a that's still a font. We could go up to our text editor and backspace that and hit a hit a, a capital. Matter of fact, I'm going to put a capital L. So to have a well. The, the L's are the same. Let me try that again. Yep, there we go. I hit the shift key and then hit OK. So we need to take it all back and go to, yeah, the T and the, the T's are small and everything else is good. So we're going to go to object, convert it to a curve. And then I'm going to go left click, right click. I'm going to leave them in black so we can kind of see it. Now my text is still a little bit too big. But I want them all the same, so I'm going to grab them all and bring them in like that, and then they're all the same. So we could minutely move that around. I'm going to move my nudge factor to like 0 0.01 and move this up. We don't want to take away too much of the font. And really having that eye touch over here is not a bad thing. Uh, we could always elongate our rectangle. 
So let's go ahead and just move that over a little bit. And then we're going to take all this, select it all, and go up and weld it. So we have that right there. So that one's actually already done. We can take the virtual segment delete key and delete these lines. And then that all stick together. Now the next one, the moon is separate and quite a bit bigger. So we're going to make it bigger. We're actually going to need to move that probably up to about right there. And we're going to take the moon and actually they're touching, but uh, I don't think you'd have to make it that big. Let's back up here. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Let's grab the moon and the rectangle and bring it up and have the moon part touching. Now let's move these out of the way and see how they got the, they got a star there, which is pretty smart. So we're going to take the, um, you know what, let's do this. Let's move that back because we're going to use the two and the the and have it touching at least the top. This is backed up by a board, so it doesn't have to be ultra, ultra strong. But then again, we can't really connect that E. So I'm going to connect it to the, I'm going to connect it to the uh, M or the N. Let's say that's good. Now we don't have anything to connect the um, star. I mean, the, the, the O yet, but what we can do is select all this and go ahead and weld it. You don't have to at this time, but I'd go ahead and go ahead and take that away. The only one reason you wouldn't want to is so you can um, move that around, but I'm pretty confident that we can. And they've got a couple of stars holding stuff up. So you could put a star right here. Let's take a five-sided star. Put it like right there and that'll hold the T or the O. So now let's, might be a little bit difficult to weld that. Um, probably can't. So it's always okay just to take your virtual segment delete key and delete those lines. And then that'll all be good. Now we need to make another rectangle. I'm, um, well, one thing we could find out is how big it is. We could take the, um, Parallel dimension tool, it is 0.12. So we're going to take the rectangle tool, make it any length we want, but make it 0.12. And the length doesn't matter right now. Now we're going to take the end in the back. And that way, when we move this up, and like I said in the before, you don't have to um, have everything really connected, but I'm going to connect at least, that, at least that top part of those O's. Now, we probably can't uh, weld that, but we're going to weld some of it. I'm going to go up here and weld, and then we can take the virtual segment delete key. The B is actually pretty good. It's a little bit close, but if we do that, that'll make it a little, just a little bit stronger. We can go ahead and take this out. And I could have rounded off. Now see, this is a little bit long. Uh, that's really not a problem. Take a two point line and I'm holding down the control button so it's perpendicular. And then just cut this off. And what's gonna happen when we use the, um, and I didn't space them out. You can, they did a lot better job on this. And then you could add a few more stars, but not really have to. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take the Smart Fill tool. Let's go ahead and set it on that kind of that dark blue. And when we do that, that's what's going to cut out. Now we'll move that out of the way and we'll left click, right click, make sure it's a hairline so it'll cut out. And you're pretty much good to go. Now I would have spaced them out a little bit more, maybe, you know, and they, they had a really good font and you know, like they added a star and you could always go back take a star and put it right in there. Um, you could actually make it quite a, whoop, quite a bit bigger. 
who have more of it touching. But this, you're going to have to virtual segment. Well, we could try welding it. I don't know that it's going to work since that's all one piece. We can go weld and then look at it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, and it, it worked this time. So that's really all that's to it. Now, since we welded it, it's still all one piece, so we're good to go. Now, this has a kind of a funny, or not a funny, but a nice shape to it. So what we're going to do, we're going to draw an ellipse, and I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. I'm going to take the original picture out of the way and hit P. That's pretty good. And then we're going to actually move this over, holding down the control button, because you kind of want that, that spot in there. Now let's work on the, the top first. And it doesn't have to be exactly like that. But what you could do is, and you could, this is where you want to figure out, do you want it at an angle? And this is at an angle, but really the thing is straight up and down. So let's take an ellipse and hit P and then move it up to the top and then take control D and make a smaller ellipse and put it like right there. Hit the plus key on the keyboard. The reason I did not take the, you just kind of want that even. Now, instead of trying to weld it, it might weld. Let's see if it does. Nope. It took everything away because that inner part. But what we could do is set our nudge factor on like five inches and nudge this out of the way and then weld this. And we have that shape. Now you're going to want to put a hole in the center of that, whatever appropriate size. And then I'm going to use the control button. It'll be perfectly in that center. And then we can move that back. But we're going to move it out of the way for just a second because we're going to do the bottom. The bottom is almost the same thing as with the exception it's um, just the way they made it. It's pretty cool. I'm going to try a little bit different thing. I'm going to bring in an indexing line and hit P, put it in the center of the page. And I'm going to draw this symmetrically. I'm going to take my three-point curve line. And there are several ways you could do it. You could do it like we did the other. But I'm going to go from like right there and put a little curve to it. Go from right there, put a little curve to it. Let me zoom in here. Get the three-point line back. Go from there. Go to that indexing line. Put a little curve on it. And you could always go back with the shape tool and move your handles to get a little bit more. That doesn't look too bad. So what we're going to do, we're going to select that line, control D to make a duplicate. While holding down the control button, we're going to grab that two-sided cross and make it like right there. And then take this away. And then I would smart fill this to make all those lines together. And then I would left click, right click, and just nudge it back. I made this a little bit too big. Um, very easily fixed. Just don't make it quite so big. And uh, you're good to go. So what it's going to look like if you cut this out and make, well, let's do this. Let's make this blue. Let's make this white. And then let's move it over there. Let's go up to object, order, front of page, and take away the outline. That's what it's going to look like if you cut it and paint it and glue it together. I need to take away the outline from the whole thing. And then, of course, the, the picture was at an angle, so grab it all and just rotate it at an angle and I mean that's it's going to hang straight up and down but I was just trying to mimic the look that's pretty close uh I would I would maybe pick another font and you know it's kind of a a goofy font but pick something that you know the the uh that you can attach the letter to anyway I hope that helped them a little bit thank you for watching